Uh, well, my name's Chief. I'm a shaper, a surfer, a fisherman, all sorts really. Depends on what day you catch me on. Well, for the most part, surfing shapes my boards, but um, biodynamics had a massive impact too, which is using energy forces, cosmic rhythms, lunar movement, and natural earth patterns to literally keep the board in harmony with the universe. The universe and Mother Nature shaped us, so why not let them shape our boards too? Mother Nature's like my mistress. You know, last night, she whispered it in my ear, go, make a six foot two fish. Single concave, double concave, simple bottom, triple concave, deep stinger channels, displacement hole to a deep V out of the tail. And you know, there it is. You know, that, that's like a six two fish. You wanted a pig? Because I, I made you a fish. No. I thought I'd show you something a little bit special tonight. Uh, I'm going to take you down to one of my uh, my secret surf spots. Now, this is the only spot around here um, where you can get decent surf on a north northeasterly or on a north southwesterly easterly on a um, you know on a good day if the surf's coming in off the shore. Waimea, Maverick, Ship Stearns, they were all discovered. Now, I've made a few discoveries of my own over the years, but I've never told a soul. But there comes a time when you have to pass on that knowledge. In the great kaleidoscope of nature's mystic rhyme. The competitive surfing industry guided me like a fish. I was burnt out by the time I was 20. It was dark times for me. Corporate sponsorship getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So there I was, a big man about town. Sponsors knocking down my door, all the clotted cream I could eat. But what do you do when you're 17 and you've got that much clotted cream? Well, I did what anyone else would have done. I went mental. And so I needed to get back to basics. And that meant going back to the shaping bay. Well, I'm still making boards the way I did in the 70s. I mean, yeah, my gear's looking a bit ropey these days, but uh, I built them strong in my day. If it ain't broke, go and fix it. You're right. Oh, I'm fine, yeah. Why? Bob McTavish shortened the board, you had George Greeno's fin designs, and then you had me. You know, were any of my designs good? No. Were any of my designs great? Absolutely not. But by showing them what didn't work, I think I advanced the industry by, what, 30, 40 years at least. Boards were getting very aggressive. I wanted to do something more fluid. I wanted to draw more soulful lines on the wave. And that's what I wanted to reflect with my designs. So what did you make? The wave fucker. I mean, it's the closest thing you're ever going to get to being born again. I mean, in order to get born again, you've got to be unborn. So you stall into the deepest curl. You let Mother Nature's womb engulf you. Just for a moment, you're unborn. And the Great Mother gives this almighty heave, and there you are. You're un-unborn. Huh? You come streaming out of that saltwater fanny like an eight-pound newborn babe of stoke. Oh, there's nothing like you in the world. At the end of the day, Surfing's a beautiful thing. It's shaped my life. I've done something to shape it, I hope. You know, it's just been one long ride that's yet to close out. Well, until it does, you know, I'm pleased to be here doing my bit. And every time I pass on a board, as long as somebody else is using it, there's a little bit of me out in the wave. Always. In the great kaleidoscope of nature's mystic rhyme Mystic Eye. Watch the mystic.